Okay, everyone, welcome back. Month nine, month nine. Um, haven't seen you guys in like three months. A lot has happened since then. So um, let's just get right into it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This has uh, been some good progress, to be honest. I'm a lot happier now than I was before. Um, I still feel like it's a little um, not as thick as I want it to be, but I'm still not taking finasteride. Um, no minoxidil. I'm just taking the pills that I showed you guys the last time, which is uh, some prostate keeper thing that's got, I forget exactly what's in it, and then some keratin pills. Um, so check the other video out, the one before this. I believe I went over all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's what all I've been doing. Um, haven't really been exercising, haven't changed my lifestyle, unfortunately, as much as I wanted, it to, I wanted to. But I think this is a good way of me just being open and honest with you guys and showing you kind of what the results are for if you're not doing any of this stuff. I do think if I was taking finasteride, it would be thicker for sure. Because when I used to take finasteride, my hair did get thicker. But I had a lot of bad side effects, and I just really don't want to deal with what I dealt with before. Um, I plan on probably in the net, within the next three months, around month 12, potentially going and doing uh, PRP and getting PRP injections to help you know stimulate and regrow, or not regrow, but um, essentially thicken my hair. And so that's kind of what I'm planning on doing in terms of my treatment going forward, doing PRP, doing natural stuff um, until I get to a point to where I see that my results are reverting. But honestly, I think it's pretty good so far, you know, for what it is, it's getting thicker. I've got bangs I haven't had bangs ever. So um, this is what it looks like. So definitely feel like it's gotten longer. It's gotten a little thicker. I definitely, if you guys can see, you can see some like thin patches in the middle, but I went from being completely bald to looking like I'm starting to thin for a 30 year old. So I think that's a step in the right direction. It's not super thick, but you know, given the number of graphs that I've had, doing it only over two days and not waiting like I, you know, like the, the professionals say to do essentially these days. Um, you know, given what I did in the circumstances I did, I think it's pretty decent for where I'm at now. I do wish that it was thicker here in the middle. Um, it's pretty thick here for the bangs. And, um, and the crown still, I mean, this is for month 12, or sorry, this is for month nine, not 12. So this is supposed to be, they gave me 18 months, I think, for that to be fully grown. And so, um, probably I'm just halfway through with the crown area, but honestly, it's pretty good. A lot of people don't even recognize me anymore. Um, when I tell them my age, they think I'm a lot younger. The braces probably have something to do with that also. Um, and as of today, when I'm recording this, I'm 31 years old. And so, yeah, that's actually pretty decent, uh, decent results so far. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not sad. I wish it was thicker, but this is what I'm getting for what I'm doing in terms of my post care. Because I feel like the post care is very crucial and very important also. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to do a few things with you guys. Probably do my, wet my hair like I did the last time. I'm due for a haircut again. Um, this, I cut my hair at month four. I buzzed everything the same size. So this is how it's been growing since month four. Um, the sides, I've been, you know, trimming the sides. I've been keeping that low, but everything on top that was transplanted that's all um, been untouched for the last, what is it, like six months now, five months, yeah. So anyways, without further ado, you know, this is what it looks like again. One thing I noticed also, by the way, is you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how my donor area turned out. It looks pretty good, um, given almost 9,000 grafts. Um, although around my ears, you know, I did see some fading before I got the hair transplant. I feel like it's a little more pronounced now, but you know, it is what it is. I'm fine with it. Anyways, so this is uh, how it looks wet.
you know, obviously it looks uh, thin. I mean, it's still pretty thin, but it's actually not too terrible, right? This is the... Uh, Yeah, the one thing I wish is, you know, I, I don't like how I can see like through here, but that's kind of to be expected with how, how thin it is. And you can see, I feel like it's thick here, then it gets a little thin here and then thicker back here. Kind of like in terms of thickness, it's like a little, like a little hump. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I mean... But yeah, I mean, typically what I'll do is if I want to style my hair, you know, kind of go to the side and then go backwards with it. So I usually use my hands and not this brush, but. Huh. Well, I mean, I can do that if I want it now. Anyways, typically I'll just go kind of to the side and then I'll go backwards with it also over here if I wanted to, but if I wanted to make it not flat like it was earlier when I was showing you guys, but yeah, I mean, see how it's still, you can kind of see the thinness here, but like, like I said, I mean, it's kind of to be expected. It's a hair transplant. It's not natural. But, I mean, like I said, it's just month nine, guys. So, we'll see what happens at month 12. Um, thanks for tuning in. This is my hair wet. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to get a haircut here in a bit. And I'll show you guys how it looks like after that. Hey, what's up, guys? So, just got done with my haircut. Came back home, did a shower. Got my beard done up also. But here we are. This is me outside. This is how it's looking. Not too bad, huh? Yeah, what do you guys think? It's actually pretty decent, I think. Maybe if I can take you guys into, uh, let's see if I can take you guys out to some sunlight so you can see what it looks like. But this is me out in the sun also. some direct light. All right, what do you guys think? All right, guys, welcome back to my bathroom. So this is typically how my hair will look if uh, if I just wanna just rock it flat, don't put any product in it. Um, you know, I feel like with this, it actually kind of covers where the, like those empty spots are kind of, if you're just like looking like this normal at me. Um, but I'm gonna show you what product I use. This is the product that I've been using. Uh, Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. Um, this is what I've been using. It's been pretty decent. I don't know if you can see that or not. But Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, it's a leave-in conditioner um, or leave-in moisturizer. Uh, it's pretty good for me, at least for my hair type. Oh, another thing I wanted to say is, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair when I was younger, it was very wavy. Um, and so I feel like oddly enough, the waves are actually coming in in sync, kind of like how they used to be. It's pretty crazy. Um, but I feel like that's kind of a common theme when you get a hair transplant, the hair, I guess, tends to, if it's implanted properly, it tends to grow naturally. Um, so yeah, this is the product that I use. I'm going to put it in real quick and let you guys see how it looks and how I style it. All right, guys. So I, I just get my hair a little damp, um, apply a little bit of this. Actually, this is a lot. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This may be a little too much, but yeah, I just put it in my hair. And then... I'll just go like that. 
and this will be pretty much it. So it kind of gives it a little bit of volume. And then from the side. But yeah, this is pretty much, let me see how it looks in the mirror real quick. Yeah, that's pretty much how I like it for the most part. Yeah, this is pretty much how it would look like. Oh, minus that. That's a little weird. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like if I want to give it a little bit of volume, if I'm going out or if I, you know, I want to just look decent and not flat. Um, this is what it looks like with a product in. So when I just leave it in, I wash it the next day when I take a shower just with water. That's another thing uh, in terms of showers. What I typically do is I shower every other day. Well, I shower every day, but I shower, I wash my head and uh, use uh, shampoo every other day to every two days. Um, I started doing that and I noticed that it actually, I just feel my scalp feels better instead of washing every day and drying my hair out. So um, once I started doing that, I feel like that kind of helped also. But yeah, let me take you guys outside and let's see how this looks like in the sun. Um, let me know what you guys think. Here's the back also. I don't know how it looks on the back. This is uh, how it looks like. It's kind of in the shade a little bit. And then we'll go over here to the sun. This is what it looks like in the sun. Alright guys, let me know what you think.